Father, we lift you up, magnify you, exalt you. We just thank and praise you for this wonderful day, not only that you made, but you gave us an opportunity to participate in because of your resurrection, because you rose. Um, we have an opportunity to live a resurrected life. And, and as much as always, we appreciate uh, not only your death uh, to die for our sins uh, and your burial and your patience um, uh, to show us how to allow God to resurrect us from wherever we are. Um, we just thank and praise you for, um, uh, as we're constantly reminded of resurrection and as even this morning, you reminded me of our, um, this time as you resurrect and manifest some things in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, good morning. Oh, uh, again, we show up. Uh, we're going to leave the light, keep the lights off. Is that the goal? Uh, I don't know what you can see. I, I don't know what your clarity is. All right, so it's cool. You can leave it. Man. All right. <laughs> I, I'm good. I, I'm making as long as he's fine. No, do, what do you need? No, the front, the front, that's the back. Ty. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right, so, so we're not gonna be long this morning, but we, you know, he, he got up, he rose up early, um, and so, we honor that by, you know, on this particular day, honoring that resurrection by, by us uh, getting up early. But we do want to also take the time to just hear from a few people um, about the impact of resurrection. Uh, if, you know, just, you know, three minutes or so about the impact of resurrection. Um, so we, because uh, we're not going to be here long, so people can have an opportunity. Well. I know we got the breakfast club, we're probably gonna have breakfast, but uh, some other people gonna have an opportunity to transition to get back to service, you know, because I know people gotta, huh? Uh, some people don't realize everybody have a different flow, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand that it's a, it's a family Z. Yeah. So some people gotta put on their Easter clothes. Uh, the Breakfast Club are the people that go to breakfast uh, on Resurrection Sunday. So if, if you have to figure it out, then you're not in the club. <laughs> All right, uh, sorry about that. Early in the morning, you got, we have a, a, a wonderful, transparent, vulnerable family that blurts out stuff and I actually respond because I love them. All right, we're gonna have uh, Minister James come up and, and, and uh, can you come up and give us a thought? Are you in a position to do that? Oh, okay, because I, I just, I know it's dark back there, but I just look, you got a mask on, right? Okay, all right, well, let's, let's have uh, Minister Lamar come up and give us a thought real quick. I don't, this mic right here, right? All right, and then after uh, the minister, uh, his wife, uh, the breakfast, the breakfast Club lady. All right. Well, praise God, everybody. Re happy Resurrection morning. So what resurrection means to me is it's a life that's worthy of living. Um, as I think about resurrection, I think about the things that were resurrected in my life, uh, the things that were dead, the emptiness that was there. Um, and as Christ came into my life, he just started transforming me. And I look at my life now, and I just, sometimes I just look back and just see where would I be, you know, without God? And what is God doing in my life now? And, and am I worthy of even what he's doing in my life? Um, so I'm grateful for Christ dying on the cross, overcoming death, hell, and the grave. So therefore, I can be an overcomer. You know, as I continue to live this life and go through this journey, God is carrying me. He's helping me. He's strengthening me so I can strengthen others. And I'm, I'm appreciative of that. 
you know, and um, I'm very appreciative of that, that my life does have meaning now, because at one time it didn't. It was just do whatever. And so I'm, I'm grateful uh, for God being in my life, giving me purpose, resurrecting my life, giving me some time back uh, that uh, I had lost, you know, in terms of doing nothing in the world. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful for God. Amen. Praise God. Um, huh? Move the stand. Move me. Okay. Praise God. Um, I am really so thankful and just the actual um, display here really makes you think because it gives a lot of thought into what he did for us what he did for us so that I could have this life that I'm living right now. And so when I think about that, I have to agree with my husband that he died for me, for all the things that I've done in my life, to give me a life that is fulfilling, that is to carry out his name, that I belong to him. And so when I think of the death, burial, and resurrection, he said the last seven words, it is finished. And when it's finished, he already knows the end of my life. It is finished only if I attach my faith to his death, burial, and resurrection. And so I just thank God every day that that I'm able to stand up. I'm able to proclaim his word. There's not a moment, there's not a day that I don't talk about God everywhere that I go because he's allowed me to be here and that is the least that I can do. So it is finished, it is finished, it is finished and I'm going to run this race until I can't run it anymore. Praise God. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> Resurrection Sunday. Uh, to me, it, it's, I think of what if it did not happen? You know, uh, what if it did not happen? And uh, thinking of really the Old Testament times, you know, before, you know, you know, God sent his son to die for our sins, you know, what life was like, right? And so here at Ayers, as we're learning to uh, as we're being equipped for heirs of the kingdom of God and we're going out and we're discipling uh, uh, and we're speaking with individuals on a daily basis as uh, Zipporah mentioned it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see lives being resurrected right in front of our eyes right in front of our eyes so we have been armed and have been given the, the tools necessary to go out and win souls for Christ and so uh, you know, without that, I mean, it's, it, it, it would be very, very, you know, well, well, wouldn't be able to do it, <laughs> right? So, you know, I just thank God that uh, he, you know, decided to send his son here to die for our sins and uh, my many sins. It's just amazing um, that someone would actually do that, would actually do that. And so as we uh, tr live this life out here on earth and we are uh, trying our best to live the life of Christ, it's, uh, it's one of those things where, man, would we give our lives up? What if we had to carry the sins of everyone that we, you know, all the stuff that we see happening in this world? Can you imagine that? And just sitting there thinking and just putting yourself in that position of just, uh, you know, embracing what that did and what Christ did for us. I mean, it's just amazing. And so I'm so very grateful and thankful. Tyrone. Stop that, Pastor Keith. He's supposed to get his wife next. 
<laughs> but no, uh, resurrection for me is, uh, I, I thought about it, uh, it's the point y'all sung the song last week, uh, death couldn't hold them down. And then you think about it, it just couldn't hold them. Oh, it just couldn't, death couldn't hold them down. And it just makes me think that, you know, he thought that much of us that he actually gave his son. And you think about somebody giving his son, that is a piece of them. That's the only thing that he can give that's a piece of them instead of not giving, you know, the whole, his whole. But he gave his son, that was a piece of him that he gave for us to, you know, to help us along this journey. And then that he had to die for us so that we wouldn't have to go through a lot of things that, you know, back that they went through back then. And I, I just think that, you know, being that he gave like that, and we should be able to love like that when it comes to us even just serving him, period, just to serve him in that 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 amount of, you know, that, because I, I think about it, we went through, uh, been going through a lot this week alone and, uh, and our family, and, you know, sometimes you feel like, you know, I, I can't do this. This is too much. And that's what makes it, it made me think that way. Hold on. I can't give up because he loved me that much to give his son a piece of him to me. And, and that's what kind of keeps me grounded a lot when it comes to saying this is too much. This is too much. And I got to realize what I give, like Ed said, what I give my son up. Could I give my son up? Would I give my son up for everybody in the world to take on all of their punishment, all the things that they are doing wrong, just so that they can live, have a, a choice to live. And then you sit back and you watch a lot of us still make the wrong choice. And, and when they, you think about us making the wrong choice, it, it hits me kind of hard there is that we still make the wrong choice, even though we might be on the right path. Every now and again, we listen to our flesh and be like, ugh, that hurts. And like, like you said, you're under the umbrella and sometimes you get off a knee and then you like get back under it. And it's like, I'm a, I, forgive me, Lord, but I stay on the path this time. But, you know, his forgiveness, his grace, his mercy, it's just, you can't explain it. And, and it, that's the how to, kind of love that we got to give people in the world that, you know, even when they're doing wrong, we got to give them that love to say, somebody out there loves you that much. And that's what it makes me think about. Good morning, everybody. Um, I, uh, as I was uh, thinking about um, what resurrection meant to me, I thought about the, um, um, I was praying with my family this morning. And um, after we got done praying, I, I told them how appreciative I was of how far God has brought us. Um, in a very short period of time, I feel like our lives have been truly transformed in a way that I couldn't have imagined. And, and I thought about um, where we were physically, um, where we were mentally, emotionally. And, and even with that, I considered the fact that that's just our small piece of this world and of this life. And when we think about the manifestation of God's resurrection, um, I, I think about the fact that you know, the resurrection, Jesus rose from the dead and he sacrificed his life for all these things, for our healing, for our salvation, redemption, for the, you know, our ability to be able to devote our lives to him. But we didn't accept it and we haven't accepted it um, in the right way fully. But this is a year of manifestation of the resurrection. This is a year where Christ is manifesting his power in our lives. He's manifesting his healing 
in our lives. He's manifesting his redemption in our lives. And so when I think about the resurrection, that's, um, that's what comes to mind is all that he's already done for us. But this year, he's truly going to bring all those things out in our lives where we fully understand what it is that he's done. Amen. So, resurrection for me um, reminds me of me being the woman at the well and in my own self-protective custody, going to a well to have an encounter with a man who would change my life. And so thinking about going into the city and telling all these people still had it registered with me, that I had an encounter with living water. And so all of these things, when I think about resurrection, is Tanya still keeps going to the well to have an encounter. And that when he was on that cross, he looked down at me and said, it is finished. Stop going to the well. The well is in you. You are the living water that's supposed to pour out. And so this morning I've awakened with the reality that I've still been going to the well. And even though I keep telling everyone about the encounter with the man at the well, I still find myself going to the well as if I did not partake of the living water that's supposed to come out of me and overflow. I'm still in that self-protective custody because what if I wasn't worthy of the living water? What if I wasn't worthy of what he spoke. What if he didn't mean me standing on that cross? What if he wasn't looking at me, but beyond me? And then the reality is, he was thinking about me. He had me in mind. He had all of us in mind. Not one of us was he not thinking about. And so I thank God that he saw fit to send his only begotten son, because y'all, when I had to let my youngest son go, it broke my heart. It broke my heart to give up something so precious so that everyone could live. And so I said, God, thank you. Thank you that you loved us so much. I couldn't even imagine giving up your only begotten son so that someone like Tanya doesn't have to keep going back to the well, but that she one day realizes that she is the well. So I just thank God for resurrection because that death and that burial allowed life to come back to me, that I can live a life of abundance, of hydration, of manifestation, of renovation, all these things was made possible because he got out of that grave for me. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. That's what resurrection means for me. Good morning. Um, I get emotional because um, when I think about what Jesus did on the cross for me, it um, it warms my heart because we actually were, uh, watched um, Son of God uh, yesterday, and to think about the and he did, he just laid his life down. Um, we think about the pain and the torture and everything that he went through because he loved me. Um, I'm, just, I'm just extremely grateful is what I'm trying to say. I'm just so, so grateful for what he did for me. And then, then, then he got up and conquered death. And so I think about he conquered uh, what was dead in my life, like um, joy 
or peace or sickness and all he, um, healing and all those kind of things. And I, I'm just extremely just thankful for what he's done. That's the best way I can say it. <laughs> just thank you, Jesus. Um, as I was thinking um, last night um, about what Christ has done for us, um, <sighs> I think about the old things have passed away. All the old things have passed away and that we all become new in Christ Jesus. I think about the love um, that God has poured out for us because he gave us his son. Um, that we have a choice to live and not die. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to give God glory every day because his son has saved us from our sins. He gave us the greatest thing that we can attach our hearts to. He gave us his son. That's amazing. That's amazing. His amazing grace. His abundance of love. He overcame everything. He didn't leave anything out. Nothing. So that we could live. So that we could have eternal life. I'm just so appreciative. And I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. That I'm not the person I used to be because of the joy, the peace, the peace of mind. I can call on the name of Jesus. I can call, we can call on the name of Jesus. And I'm just grateful that he gave us his son so that we can live. I appreciate it. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me blessings and glory and honor they all belong to you thank you jesus for blessing me. And that's what he's done. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you for life, health, and strength. 
I just want to thank you for no matter what we do on this earth, Lord, you died on that cross to free us of our sins, Heavenly Father. I just want to thank you for this opportunity that you've given us, Lord, to be supernaturally restored, to live in manifestation, to give us the vision that we need in order to serve you, to impact your people. Lord, this is all due to your sacrifice, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just, you deserve all the praise, the glory, and the honor that sacrifice God made, given his only begotten son, so that we may live, so that we may spread the word, so we, be, we may be his chosen people. I just, I'm just so grateful, everyone. There's nothing that we can do. Like, like, if all we can do is just say thank you, it's more than enough, and just give God the glory because everyone, I mean, I don't even know where I would be without Christ. I don't even know where I would be without Christ, quite honestly. There's nothing to, I can't make every mountain, every molehill a mountain anymore in my life. Doesn't matter what it is, y'all. All we have to do is, is turn that thing over to Jesus and believe. Like, that's the number one thing. Christ is love Christ gives me confidence Christ allows me to believe that when it's too big it's not too big he is our savior so I'm just so grateful God I just love you we honor you it all belongs to you thank you Lord amen Good morning, everyone. Um, what I'm thanking God for this morning, one of the things is being here with you all this morning. Being here with such a wonderful church family who is loving. I'm so thankful this morning when I think about the resurrection. As I read this week um, and praying um, about what Jesus endured on the cross, the violence that happened, um, what he endured, and then he rose on the third day. And the Lord challenged me, like, what's going to be different in your life this time? What's going to be different? Are you going to be committed to me more? Are you going to love me more? Are you going to abide in my word more? I am so thankful just to be here this morning. I'm so thankful. Because all that I want to do, I, want, I don't want to come in, I don't want to wake up another day and just be, I want it to be different. I want there to be a spark. The Lord has been challenging me this week. What's going to be different in your life? What's going to be different? Are you going to come in and walk into the sanctuary the same? Every day? The same? Are you going to look like me, talk like me, love like me? And I guess what I am thankful for, not that I guess, but I know that I am thankful for at this I'm so thankful to God. I'm so thankful what he endured. And I refuse to live yesterday 
today. I'm so thankful for my family. I'm so thankful for the house that I have, the roof over my head, and to be in this vessel. I'm so thankful, just thankful to God. So thankful. I'm so thankful for a husband who loves me and who encourages me. I'm so thankful that he loves me so much. That he has given me something that I never thought I could have. So this is very personal to me. Like I know it is to you all. To do something different. To be excited about life. To just be excited. To love differently. Like no other. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. Sobering, isn't it? Just sobering. So brain. <laughs> you know, when I walked in and saw this display, this wonderful display, visually, it's a wonderful uh, thing to look upon because, you know, we hear about it, but to see it, you know, it's just a whole nother connection. And what the Lord has put on my heart is it is finished. Everything that God intended in his will, in his heart, in his heart, was finished. And so when he, when he said those last words, he was basically saying, everything that I came to do is finished. When you hear the word finished, there's nothing left. Nothing left. And so the question came to me, would we be able to say, it's finished. What you've planned in my life, God, what you've purposed for me to do in this life, can I say it's finished? Everything that when you thought of Melanie, when you thought of how she would intertwine with people and how she would intertwine in this world, can I say I finished my course. And will I be able to hear those words? Well done, my good and faithful servant. And so that's what it made me think about, like finished. When you finish something, it's complete, it's done. And everything that he stood for, I know some people talked about, you know, talked about, you know, giving up their son and, you know, how that's very difficult. We couldn't even do it. <laughs> so we certainly should understand and appreciate how severe that had to be for him, not only to give up his son, but to watch him go through this, the suffering and the pain and the agony for people that were not perfect. And some people still haven't received the, uh, the good news. Do you understand what I'm saying? They've heard the good news, but they still haven't received the good news. God allowed his son to die for that person too. What love, what love he displays when you think about his unconditional love. In spite of, when we've been faithless, he's been faithful. And so I just, I'm grateful this morning to be able to stand before you all and uh, just, you know, like, like connect with what you're saying. Everybody that came up here, I connect. It, God is good. And all we have to do is we got to finish our course. There is a plan and a purpose and you want to submit to it. We want to submit to it, right? So that we can say it is finished. 
can you imagine, and I'll say this last thing, can you imagine the, the, uh, what's the word? Almost like the finality of what you've done is finished. Like that last breath that he took was, is finished. It's finished. And that's, that's, that's what's on my heart today. Glory to God. All right, uh, this is an opportunity for us to recognize how important it is to be selfless. When I saw the passion of the Christ when I walked out, uh, you know, the first time I saw it, the pastor asked me, he says, what do you think about the movie? I just broke down and cried. I said, we are so selfish. You know, our first thought of offense, our first thought of what about me, our first thought about ourselves shows us we don't really value the resurrection right because the resurrection is about selflessness all right so I, you know I just want us to reflect on that uh, as we go through uh, the rest of this uh, resurrection Sunday uh, Lord we thank and praise you for the words shared the words spoken the words thought uh, those that uh, showed up uh, to value your resurrection those that showed up as um, and humbly in support of those that, that spoke and shared, uh, those that are praying this morning, reflecting this morning, and realizing um, uh, we get to be, uh, to have a, a, a second, third, fourth, fifth chance uh, at doing this thing right, presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice and being selfless forward, selfless forward. So we thank and praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, that ends our, our uh, sunrise service. Uh, give everybody an opportunity to transition and be back here bright-eyed for 1030. I tell someone, uh, I will be selfless, and you may be dismissed. I will.